In this video, I'm going to talk about something called position absolute. So to get it set up, let's just put some basic HTML in here. So I've got two classes already built out. I've got a container class and a button class. So let's use those. I'm going to create a container. And then inside there, I'm going to position a button that has a class of button. Okay. Now inside my button, so let me just open this up a little bit so we can see it better. I'm just going to give it some text. We'll say click me because we're really excited. And let's see what that looks like so far. So pop into the browser and you can see I've got this button click me. Let me outline our container a little bit better so that we can see it. So let's say it's going to have a border of one pixel solid light gray. And then I also want to give it some padding too, so I don't really want that button to be right up against the edge. We'll say the padding will be 15 pixels in this case. Let's see what we have. Okay, cool. I'm not really seeing that border too well though. Hmm, what's happening there? Ooh, misspelling. Okay, let's take a peek again. All right, now we're seeing the border, so that's nice. But what I'm trying to do is I actually want to position this button so that it's in the lower right hand corner of this box. So I don't want it in the upper right hand corner or the upper left hand corner. I want it in the lower right hand corner. So the way that we can use the do this is using the position property. So by default, all elements on our page are going to have a position set to static which means that it's going to be positioned according to where it is in the content. So to change that, what I need to do is I need to give a position to the container and I need to set its position to relative. Then the next thing that I need to do is to give an explicit position to my button. So now I'm going to come down here and say my button will be absolute and I want it to be a certain number of pixels away. So right now, if we look back in the browser, we'll see that that hasn't really done anything just yet, right? But if I want it to be 15 pixels away from the bottom and 15 pixels away from the right, I can specify that just doing bottom and setting that to be 15 pixels and then right setting that to 15 pixels. Okay, and that's how we can get something positioned outside of where it would normally be.